Hello everybody welcome to my channel before starting my video if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do and do not forget to turn on notifications as I'm sharing great contents for you all the time. Alright, um, previous lesson we finalized the comment section of our products now we will continue with the queries. First of all I'm going to complete get product section. Let's create our classes. First of all I'm going to create a query. So let's say um, get product product query control rg let's make it public record and all we need an id to bring a product right so let's say product id and we need to talk this record with i query and the response type let me have a look yeah product response product response perfect query is completed let's create our handler get product query handler control rg let's make a sealed internal class and implement i unit of work i'm assigning my field let's fix the naming and now all we need to do is add our inheritance interfaces which is going to be i query handlers so we need to give a query which is get query product query and the result is product response let's implement the interface let's make it async switch it to vertical design it is pr going to be similar with the um, remove products section. I'm going to bring this data and come back here. So basically we are finding the data and if it's null we are going to return an error messages. But do not forget the um, return the correct type of result because we are returning result product response and even if it's a fail we need to return the correct type of result okay so if we have a product all we need to do is map it and return it I need to add auto mapper here as well I mapper let's assign this field and let's create our response mapper dot map product response product and all we need to do is return success message with the data result product response dot success response with status code is going to be 200 for queries control kd control s as you can see get by id section is completed let's create get all products now add class get all products query Control RG. Let's make it public record. Actually, we don't need any parameter. All we need to do is I command. Um, sorry, I query with the response type is going to be. A list actually I'm gonna make it I read on the list 
read only list product response this is our return type but is there any problem with that well uh, let me have a look quickly what is the problem with that one uh, I guess should we do like this okay so public will get all products let me have a look quickly uh, ah yeah it says basically I query must be an I result if I type just product response hmm, it doesn't accept the collection type so how can I fix this let me have a quick look let's go back to I query to response but it must be okay it's really weird so I say collection product response this is quite weird let's have a look again it says basically you cannot convert it to I result Product response cannot be used as a parameter TD to engineer to a method of the result. There is no instructions from. Alright, um, to eliminate this error, the basic I collection result it says us I collection product response is not an I result. So to fix that one, I'm returning the product response and I'm going to create another class here public class product response ah uh, product response collection and this, I'm gonna talk with the I result And definition is going to be I collection. I read only, read only collection. Let's say product response. And I'm gonna say products. And let's tag this with annoying, <laughs> not no keywords. Perfect. So we have a collection tag with the I result let's go back here the return value is going to be product response collection now we got nothing as an error right now let's save it let's continue with the handler get all products at class get all products Query handler, right? Yeah, query handler. Control RG make it sealed. Inject I unit of works. Unit of work. Implement with my property field. Yeah. And also, I need to add I mapper. But before that, let's use vertical design comma and I mappers mappers and add the field as well and I'm going to fix the namings and then I'm going to inherit from I query handlers so it is going to ask me the first query which is get all products query and the response is going to be product response collection let's implement oops let's implement the interface hold on I'm going to add a synchrony keyword let's use the vertical design as you can see the result is product response collection perfect now I'm going to get all products or pro 
attacks. So I'm going to bring the unit of work dot repository products. Oops. Product. Perfect. I'm going to call get all methods and it is still accurable. Now, is there anything should I bring with the product? No, it's it's all good. I'm going to make a project to to map the old settings to our collection method. Product response collection. But we need to make another mapper, I guess, because let me have a look quickly. No, we don't do that. All I need to do is product response. Product response. And let's give our configuration and to list async. Why don't we have an async method here? So we did a project two. Let's type here to list async. It must be here. This is quite weird, guys. We need we able to add able to add our list async. I guess we need to add entity framework core here. Let me have a look quickly. So we add a repository, get all, acquirable, this is acquirable as well. So this must be a list async. Okay. Let me try to add EF core here. Oops, not class. Manage to get packages. Waiting. EF core. Let's add 8.0.11, install, must be done in a couple of seconds, now it's completed, now let's try to, yep, as you can see, the namespace has been arrived, I'm going to use entity framework core, and now it is a synchronic method. And I'm going to add my cancellation token. All done. So in my hands, I have a list product response. Can I make it as a read only? Um, let me have a look. Okay, I'm going to create a new response. New product response collection the products is going to be the products dot as read only yep perfect so the product is i read on the collection and we get all products tag it as read only and create our response and now i'm going to return result the result is going to be the product response collection success the data is response the status code is 200 perfect now we returned the our old products in our application Okay, let me have a look at all products, get product queries and the comments all completed. Next lesson, we're going to complete the invoice and customers all together quickly and I'm assuming it will be alright. Um, let me have a look. Actually, it's been 15 minutes, but I'm going to finish this lesson here anyway. It's going to be enough for, uh, because I'm going to switch the subject next lesson. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. 
If you crush the like button, I will be really appreciated and do not forget drop comment below the video. It really motivates me and bring my video to more visible in YouTube algorithm. See you on next lesson. Bye bye. Thank you.